everyone and welcome back to my channel. As some of you may know, I was in Thailand recently so I thought I'd film a video showing you how I got ready for a day out in Bangkok. So I started the day of course with breakfast in bed. I was staying at the Shangri-La Hotel and the breakfast was amazing. Here I'm just having some French toast and a plate of fruit. So here I'm just heading into the beautiful marble bathroom with the most incredible view to begin my skincare routine and just having a little bit of a yawn to myself because I was extremely tired and jet lagged and I'm just popping my hair up into a bun as always to begin my skincare routine. To begin with I'm taking the Garnier oil infused micellar water on a cotton pad and just sweeping this over my face to get rid of any grime or dirt or horridness from the night before. And I love this micellar water, it leaves your skin feeling so, so soft. Next I'm taking my Origins Essence Skin Lotion, again on another cotton pad, I live for my huge cotton pads. <laughs> and again just sweeping this all over my face. Then I'm taking one of my absolute favourite moisturisers which has been one of my favourites for about two years now and that's the Lush Million Dollar Moisturiser. It's just so, so delicious, it makes your skin feel so incredibly soft and look so radiant and it smells of honey, it smells good enough to eat, I just love putting it on my face in the morning. And it also has SPF 30 which is amazing because even though it's November it's still ridiculously sunny in Thailand so this will protect my face from the sun. Now I'm going to spray some of the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream all over miracle oil on my legs just so they look all nice and shiny and not dry and the oil also adds a little bit of colour as well as my tan has long faded from the summer. Now I'm just brushing my teeth with my favourite toothbrush in the world, my Philips Sonic Care Diamond Clean. This is just the best toothbrush I've ever used, my teeth feel so clean afterwards and I'm sure it's made them whiter as well. And then last but not least, as it is an essential step in my skincare routine, I'm putting on some of the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream onto my lips as my lips are always dry and this is just my favourite product ever to use on them. That's my skincare routine finished, so now I'm just heading back into my bedroom to sit by the window and begin my makeup. To prime my face I'm using the Clarins Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base and this does exactly what it says, it just gives you a really lovely radiant glowy base for your makeup. Then on top of that I'm using my YSL Touche Eclat foundation but the shade is a bit dark for me at the moment so I'm going to be using my Body Shop Lightning Shade Adjusting Drops which are amazing if you've bought your foundation in the wrong shade or your tan's faded but you still have loads of foundation left. It just lightens it up and there's also some darkening drops to do the opposite which I'm going to use afterwards. So I blended these two products together and I'm applying it to my face with my Clinique Buffing Foundation Brush which is my new favourite brush to apply foundation. It's so amazing and gives you such light but flawless coverage. Next I'm taking the Clarins Instant Light Brush On Perfector to conceal my under eye area as I was seriously jet lagged. I had next to no sleep on the entire trip so this just helped make me look a little bit more awake and I'm just patting this into my skin with my makeup sponge. So now I'm taking the Body Shop Darkening Drops and not only are these amazing for darkening your foundation if it's too pale for you, but it's also an amazing contour shade and I just thought I'd try something different because I always just use powder to slightly contour my face so I decided to use this instead and I apply this with my sponge again and I just love the way this contour looks. It looks so natural because it's such a neutral cool toned colour, it really just looks like a shadow and it's really easy to blend and it's just perfect. I love it. For blush I'm taking this really beautiful pale rosy shimmery blush from Kiko, it's part of their holiday Christmas collection and I'm applying this with my Zoeva Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. And to set my makeup I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium on my YSL powder brush and just putting a light layer of this all over my face but putting an extra layer on the under eye area to make sure that concealer stays put and I don't end up looking like a zombie halfway through the day. For highlighter I'm using my Cover FX highlighter in the shade Moonlight and this has kind of become my everyday highlighter, it's really really beautiful. It's just a classic champagne colour but it's not too much. It's not blinding but it's still strong enough to please me and feed my highlight obsession. And I'm applying this with my favourite brush ever, my Zoeva Rose Gold Fan Brush. Moving on to brows, I'm using my everyday brow combo starting with Benefits Precisely My Brow in the shade 4. This is just a teeny tiny little brow pencil and it's so small you can be really really precise with it to fill in any gaps in your eyebrows.
So when I'm done filling them in, I just brush them out with the brush end of the product. And then I'm using my favourite brow setting gel which is Benefit's 3D Brow Tones. This is a great product because it sets your brows in place, it adds volume and it also adds a really subtle shine to your eyebrows to make them look so much more natural and so much more full. The mascara I'm using today is the Clarins Mascara Supra Volume and I really love this mascara. The packaging is very luxurious and I love the brush. It's a thick soft bristle brush, it's my favourite type of mascara wand. It just leaves my lashes looking really long and thick without looking clumpy and I just apply a very thin layer to the ends and tips of my lashes, forgetting about the bottom lashes for the most natural look possible. And for my lipstick I'm going to be using a MAC Cream Sheen lipstick in the shade Peach Blossom. This is a beautiful pinky nude, I love the texture of MAC Cream Sheen lipsticks. They are just so creamy and sheeny, just like the name would suggest. They're really comfortable to wear, the colour's really long lasting, and this colour is really pretty and wearable. So that's my makeup all done, now moving on to my hair. I'm literally just brushing out my hair with my favourite brush at the moment, which is the Wet Brush Pro. It's just so soft and amazing at detangling my hair, but it's so hot and humid here that it makes my hair so frizzy, so it's going straight back up in a bun. Finally, I just need a spritz of perfume and I'm going to be spraying my Armani Privé fragrance in the Japanese peony scent. It's just one of my favourite fragrances in the world, it's so, so beautiful. And before I get dressed, I'm just going to accessorise with a few pieces of beautiful Pandora jewellery, starting with these two gorgeous rings I'm stacking on one finger this stunning necklace, also a few bangles from the Pandora Essence collection. These just look so pretty when they're stacked up on the wrist and I really love how this looks. They really complement my Pandora charm bracelet that I wear every single day. They look so gorgeous together and it's kind of become my everyday look now. So to end the video, I'm just going to run you through my outfit. We were visiting a few temples on the trip, so it was important to keep our shoulders and our knees covered, and I just about got away with it with this Miss Selfridge blouse that I tied in a knot round my waist. And we also had to wear these black ribbons in respect of the king who recently passed away. And then on my bottom half, I wore these really cute pale pink peg leg trousers from ASOS. They're high-waisted and they tie in a really cute bow at the top and they have a really tailored look, so I really enjoyed wearing these. And these adorable little cat shoes from ASOS which I wore every day and I'm just absolutely in love with them. So now I'm just going to leave you with a little bit of footage from my trip. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next week in my video.